my top five Mario platformer games. I've been wanting to talk about this for a long time. There have been a ton of Mario platformers, and everyone loves to sort them and love put their games and I'm going to give you the definitive list, in my humble opinion, definitively humble, of what my favorite top five Mario games are. So let's just cut right to the chase. Here we go! Number five. And just because this game is number five does not mean that this is just an okay game. Super Mario 3D World. This game is so good. This is the reason that I can't get rid of my Wii U, because we play this game all the time. And I don't complain because it's a lot of fun. Nintendo has announced that the Switch version of this, Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury, is coming in February. So next year, I'll be able to put my Switch in the Royal Archives. But for now, Super Mario 3D World. This is four players simultaneously, Cat Mario, power-ups, it's sensational fantastic and great utilization of the gamepad screen i love this game it, it the first time i saw a debut at e3 i yelled like a little baby it was great so i'm looking forward to playing through this yet again and this is one of my favorites super mario 3d world number four i love super mario galaxy it's absolutely phenomenal the gameplay still holds up to this day the upside down the excellent use of the wii remote the music, it's stunning. And the only thing that could be better than Super Mario Galaxy is Super Mario Galaxy 2. Cause it took all the core gameplay, fantastic elements, boss battles, and everything that made Super Mario great and made it even better with even tighter level design, more unique moves. Yoshi is in the game. Yoshi's in the game. This game is wonderful. It was a digital download on Wii U for like 20 bucks. And it didn't need Mario Galaxy 1 because we had Mario Galaxy 2. And somehow, this was rumored to have been included in the Mario 3D All-Stars collection, but it got dropped six months prior to the release. Maybe because of emulation, or maybe because it just took too long, or maybe because they're going to release it separately after they split them up. That's a theory. After it's not on sale in March, I don't know. But if you can track down a copy of Super Mario Galaxy 2, you will not be disappointed. This game is phenomenal. Number three. I used to run to Toys R Us and play the demo and just watch the water blue. Just listen to the beautiful music and play the amazing game that is Super Mario 64. When the Nintendo 64 came out, it came out with two games, this and Pilot Wing 64. So for the low price of $60, you could get not only a great Mario game, but a game that defined how to play platformers in 3D. and to this day, this game holds up. It's gonna be included on the Super Mario 3D All-Stars collection. And they've increased the resolution and increased the textures and smoothed out the gameplay, which I hope means they've at least made it a consistent 30 frames a second. But if you're a bit more nefarious, there is a PC port and a Switch port where they increased the game to be widescreen and they increased the frame rate to be 60 frames a second and also added high resolution textures and mapped the camera controls to the second stick of your typical controller. And it is phenomenal. I accidentally got 20 stars just trying to just, I just want to test this real quick. And it's beautiful. So I'm hoping that the official Nintendo 3D All-Stars release at least plays as well as what the home brewers were able to do. But the point of all that is Mario 64 so many years later, stands the test of time, and it's truly really a testament of how 3D platforming can be done and done right. This game was amazing, and it moved me. I love it. Number two, the first time I saw this game, I almost cried. My Super Nintendo was showing me the most beautiful hand-drawn graphics I'd ever seen. Special effects on bosses, multi-parallax scrolling. It was like, can my Super Nintendo do this? Well, with the help of the Super FX chip, yes it can. That would be Super Mario World 2, Yoshi's Island. This game blew me away. How the hand-drawn art style, the gameplay, how creative each and every single level could be. Each, each stage has some cool design mechanic where you can properly do Mario and Yoshi and do crazy trips and get through levels and take advantage of new challenges that were presented to you. Each boss is unique. The music was great. The graphics were wonderful. I just cannot rave enough about this game. It was tight, 
great fun, and yes, it was better than the original Super Mario World. As good as Super Mario World is, this is the one. Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. Now subsequent Yoshi's games, they tend to be a little bit more easy, like Yoshi's Woolly World and Crafted World, etc, etc. My kids love those games. But for this one, this was tough, especially trying to get all the coins and stars and shines and flowers and everything that you had to get to get a perfect. But once you did, it's like, yes, you really accomplished something. So this is plat this is 2D platforming at its best. Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. Don't at me about Yoshi's the original Super Mario World. N no. Before I get to my number one, I have to talk about the honorable mention here. The only reason I can't include this game as my number one Mario game is because it hasn't been out very long. Super Mario Odyssey. What Mario Odyssey does is it recaptured the feeling that I have as a kid. Platforming, succeeding, getting through progressively more difficult levels, each level more unique and different than the last, mastering cool Mario techniques where you throw out the cappy hat like this, throw it out, jump on that, then bounce on that, and then do a spin and go even higher and farther. This game is pretty much perfect. The New Donk City level, and we have Mayor Pauline singing, jump up in the high, jump in the sky. That song is phenomenal, but the stage that you have to go through toward the end that's totally an homage to the original Donkey Kong is just feels all through. I'm crying the whole time I'm doing this. It's beautiful. After you get and beat the game, you can get more. So if you get 800, you get to this further. There's a dark moon and a darker moon. I hope I'm not spoiling anything. At the end of this, there's a thing called the longest yard. It's like a gauntlet of every Mario thing that you've done. And you have to start all over if you all lose. It is some of the best Mario platforming gaming that you could do. It was so much fun. It took me a long time to get through, days to beat this thing. But once you do, once you complete that thing, that feeling of, I did it. Like the first time you beat 8-4 in Super Mario Brothers, the original game, like it's there. It's like, wow. So Nintendo took 30 years of everything they've learned about Mario and stuffed it into Odyssey. It would be my number one game, but it can't be. I have another honorable, honorable mention. This game is my childhood. This game is my field. This is my comfort food. Whenever I go to an arcade, I love to get an old fashioned or a snack and play this game. The original Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong in the arcade is hard as nails and it's taken forever because of the legal mumbo jumbo of who owns the code and who owns the actual game. Ports of Donkey Kong have been close, like this Intellivision port. It was okay, and Nintendo's own version was pretty good too. But the first time we got a real, actual arcade emulation of Donkey Kong, was not this, although this ColecoVision version is awesome, was in Donkey Kong 64 for the N64. Somehow, this is the first time that Nintendo got the code, and it was a perfect version of Donkey Kong. It's great. Very recently, Nintendo has made available on the Switch the arcade archive version of Donkey Kong, and this is the perfect arcade version of Donkey Kong. You can play it in tape mode, you can play the original Japanese version, or the world version, and it's actual Donkey Kong. If you've ever seen the King of Kong movie with uh, Billy Mitchell and Steve Weeby, it's great. That movie is how I learned how to play arcade Donkey Kong, and the book, How to Win at Donkey Kong, also taught me the tips and tricks and techniques of playing Donkey Kong masterfully. I absolutely love Donkey Kong. So for me, the game that speaks to my heart, that I can't include on the list because there's only room for one more one, number one, is Donkey Kong. Go to an arcade. If you can last longer than three minutes, give yourself props in the comments down below. All right, this is it. My number one, my favorite Super Mario platformer. What could it be? You know it's gonna be something old school. You know it's gonna be something awesome. My favorite Mario game is in fact, not Super Mario game. It's a game that no one had ever seen before. Super Mario Brothers 3! <sighs> Super Mario Brothers 3. Mario, 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 Mario. Super Mario Brothers 3 came out in a time where Nintendo, the Nintendo craze was going at its highest fever pitch. Everyone wanted a copy of Mario 3. I couldn't find a copy of Mario 3. I had to play my cousin's copy of Mario 3. I had to rent Mario 3. I never could get my hands on a real copy of Super Mario Bros. 3 for years until I was much older. Here's the instruction manual. This is still in pretty daggone good shape. 
There's all the Koopa kids. Larry, Roy, Lemmy, Ludwig, Von Koopa, Iggy, Wendy, and Morton Koopa Jr. Mario 3 is the epitome of 2D, 8-bit platforming perfection. Magic. It just doesn't get any better than this. The first time you start World 1 and you get your raccoon tail and you fly into the clouds, it's a glorious moment. This is the game that I test for any type of NES hardware or emulation or whatever thing I'm doing, Mario 3. It had eight levels, each one had a different theme, different music, different bosses with the Koopa Kids. It's challenging, it can be beaten easily with warp zones, it can take forever and be tough by going through each stage. It's wonderful, and Nintendo's marketing was in full blast with the commercial that still gets me to this day. Mario! 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 With the wizard movie that we'd already talked about before, it's just wonderful. There's actually two versions Mario 3. If you notice, this one right here, where Mario's hand is touching the brothers, this is the version, the original release. It had different words for things like the dark world and the grassland and things like that. And you notice down here, it doesn't have a one. So this is the original Super Mario Bros. 3. And then Nintendo released another edition. Move the brothers here away from the Mario's hat. And there's a one down here. This is the one that's most widely distributed. But this one includes corrections like pick a box, it's contest sugar away, things like that. And it calls Castle of Koopa and things like that. And even to this day, this game holds the test of time. My kids play this, they love it. It's phenomenal. Many a retro game, many a homebrew game, many an indie dev game pays homage to this game right here. So for me, my favorite Super Mario game, platformer game, is Super Mario Brothers 3. Let me know in the comments down below if you think I'm right or wrong. You know I'm right. <laughs> and that should do it. That is my favorite core Mario platforming games. I think a great way to celebrate Mario's birthday, 35 years of us playing Mario games, is to go back and play some Mario games in a Mario swag and play with a Mario toys. Are you excited for new Mario content? Do you want another Mario game instead of playing the ones that I've been pointing to for the past 20 years and playing for the past 20 years? Thank you for watching. I appreciate you enjoying and celebrating Mario and all his legacy with me. We'd like to thank each and every one of our Patreon subscribers. We love you guys. We have a red bubble if you like some cool near mint condition swag. Please like, subscribe, share, SMASH that notification icon so you get alerts the second new content drops. And remember, gamers who play together stay together, so love one another, wash your hands, put on a mask, and keep gaming. Take care of yourself. Peace. You can download the archive, arcade archives. You can download the archive. Oh my gosh! You can download the archive 